And we're about to tell you the secret that successful people have. They don't sleep, Dr. Ashton. As our next guest is so accomplished, she began reading books at the age of three, graduated high school at 12, enrolled in two colleges to earn two separate degrees, and now 13 years old, has been accepted to medical school. She is making headlines, and she is in the building right now. Everybody, please welcome Elena Amelie to the show. How you doing today? It's been a busy day. How's it been? Yes. Um, <laughs> um, I'm doing good. Okay, H help us first understand how you graduate high school by the age of 12. Were you, did teachers recognize you were so far ahead? How did you do that part first? <laughs> um, the teachers didn't really get me, I would say. Um, <laughs> so my mom instead homeschooled me. Yeah. What, a what age or what grade would you, did they just Four, throw their hands maybe. up and didn't know what to do? Well, actually, this was a moment where they thought that I had cheated on the test because oh. <laughs> because um, they believed that a little black girl like me couldn't oh, wow. get good grades. Wow. Um, but I didn't take that time, and I didn't give up. Yeah. Um, I actually used that to move forward. Yeah. And I assume you've never cheated on a test in your life. Never. Oh, ever. No, definitely not. <laughs> and, and in addition to just excelling academically, you've been pretty busy in terms of philanthropy and community work, and you actually started a nonprofit called the Brown STEM Girl, right? <laughs> so tell us about that and what made you want to start it. Well, um, I started the Brown STEM Girl because I love advocating for girls who believe in going into STEM. Um, and that's what really called me to start this program because I saw that there weren't girls like me, there weren't girls of color anywhere in the STEM field and I really wanted to change that because I knew there were girls out there who, who had big dreams and there were some people who told me no and I wanted the girls to be able to not let anybody tell them no. Um, so. That's really where it started. I thought that was the most important part. What's the normal thing you do? That oh, that's a normal 13-year-old girl type thing. A, a video game. Go ride a bike. You. What, what's the normal stuff you do? I still do normal stuff. So the normal stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, everything you seem to do is extraordinary, and we got something to show you here because I couldn't believe this either. Um, your philanthropy, your community service, a lot of work that you do. You've done over 5,000 hours of community service this past year alone. So we're going to present you with something that we have gotten from AmeriCorps and Points of Light. They are going to present you with the President's Volunteer Service Lifetime Achievement Award. A Lifetime Achievement Award. She's 13. You are achieved in 13 years what many people take their lifetime to achieve. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to say much of anything else. And your mom is standing here uh, as well. Such a proud mama. Congrats thank on you. what you have pulled off here. We know we're going to see great things from you down the road. And thank you thank so much you for so spending much. some time with us. Oh, all right. And I also have to mention, she has, she has a business manager that's on the other side. That's yeah. She's on her way. <laughs> right? When you get a business manager, you didn't made it. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.